Hello, I'm Ting Pham from the University of Bristol. In this presentation, I will talk about our chess 2021 paper titled An Instruction Set Extension to Support Software-Based Masking. This is a joint work with Sigal, Joins, Crochado, Ben Marshall, Dan Page, and Francesco Ricagioni. In the paper, we focus on the implementation of masking scheme countermeasures against sectional attacks. I think sectional attacks, SCA, is currently a well-known topic, especially in chess. At the high level, SCA is a kind of implementation attacks which targets on a concrete implementation that potentially bypasses the theoretical security properties. Particularly, SCA exploits the information leakage from sectionals to recover sensitive data. Basically, if you have an implementation being performed by a target device, then as an attacker, you can monitor its computation by capturing time execution or power consumption as sectional information. If the computations involve security critical information, then potentially analyzing the sectional information can gain some knowledge about the security critical information. Power sectional attacks are generally categorized into two types of attacks, symbol power analysis, SPA, and differential power analysis, DPA. SPA can potentially reveal sensitive information by observing the power consumption of one single execution. In contrast, DPA possibly extracts sensitive information by statically analyzing numerous power measurements of the executions on different inputs. On the other hand, masking and hiding are two widely used countermeasures against SCA. Hiding countermeasures try to reduce the signal to noise ratio of leaking information. While masking countermeasures, which are our focus, most the sensitive information with random cells unknown to attackers. They can be viewed as a low-level analysis of computing on encrypted data concepts. The countermeasures are becoming increasing well understood by now. For example, theoretically, the first-order masking could resist the first-order attacks, but vulnerable to the second-order attacks. In turn, such attacks can be mitigated by second-order masking. In addition, masking can be utilized at various levels in either hardware and or software. For a masking implementation, we probably have at least two significant challenges at a high level that must be addressed. First, it must translate theoretically security properties into practice. Second, it suffers large increases performance and implementation overheads. More specifically, implementing software-based masking could be a non-trivial task to achieve the guaranteed security due to the leakages that stem from the underlying microarchitecture. Such implementation also suffers from significant overheads in terms of, for example, execution latency, cost density, and high quality randomness demand. On the other hand, implementing hardware-based masking faces difficulties to mitigate the glitch-related leakage that occurred at the get levels. And the masking also imposes large overheads in terms of area and energy consumption. Moreover, hardware-based masking is inflexible for novel designs appearing regularly. We can pay more costs to address the leakage, like 
order reduction of pressure implementation. Such a process employs additional random sets to maintain its guaranteed security level regarding the leakage. For example, question implementation, you three instead of two sets for first order masking. Or we can try to solve it with a collaborative and considerate approach. In this paper, we explore the use of an instruction set extension, IC, as a means of supporting masking in software-based implementations of cryptography. The fact is that an IC is well positioned to act an interface between hardware and software, which enables a collaborative approach of hardware and software to address the challenges of masking implementations. We believe there are at least three possible attractive benefits of an IC approach. First, possibly mitigates the leakage stemming from the underlying microarchitecture, which is complicated in software. Second, offers flexibility through IC assisted software, which allows the possibility to apply for novel cryptographic designs. And finally, gains affordable compromise improving footprint latency versus a software and area efficiencies versus a hardware alternative. Regarding the security and the performance of masking, our paper presented some main contributions. First, we introduced a design of an enriched IC with a wider set of operations. Second, we presented an area efficient and leakage aware implementation of the IC within a existing risk file microarchitecture. Finally, a leakage evaluation and a quantitative analysis of uh, the overheads on a wide range of uh, IC assisted cryptographic software he conducted. As a result, we show that it's possible to achieve secure masking using dedicated instructions without the need of duplicating the data path, which is often introduced in existing hardware and IC-based approaches. At a high level, we aim at supporting operations on operands either in Boolean or arithmetic masking representations. The instructions are designed to execute three types of operations, namely representation conversion, unary and binary operations. Concretely, we design four sets of masking IC regarding functionalities, namely class A for arithmetic masking, class B for Boolean masking, class C for conversion between Boolean and arithmetic masking, and class F for few arithmetic the eight class IC includes a set of instructions that support first order arithmetic masking. They allow masking, unmasking, remasking, and mask operations include addition and subtraction. Likewise, the B class IC consists of a set of instructions that support first order Boolean masking. They allow masking, unmasking, remasking, and mask operations, including bitwise operations, for example, not and XR and rotations, and arithmetic operations such as addition and subtraction. The C class IC supports the conversion of operands under Boolean masking to arithmetic masking and vice versa. Finally, F class IC includes Boolean masking arithmetic operation in the finite field. They are especially useful and generic 
to support mask AES and AES like designs, for example, SM4 or Camellia. At the high level system, we designed and implement the IC on our SCARF core, a five stage pipeline RV32 IMCB microcontroller. We introduced a masking specific ALU to execute the IC at the execution stage. We employ pair digital file and try to minimize the changing of the base core data path to accommodate the additional operands of the masking operations. Especially, we take careful efforts to mitigate the possibilities of accidental share combination along the data path. The masking specific ALU is the main component to execute on mask. I see. The mask ALU is designed and implemented consisting of the following modules to support mask operations in a manner for area efficiency and leakage awareness. Random base generation RBG generates random mask for the masking and remasking operations in the mask ALU. Based on the demand of mask operations, it includes two instances. Each instance used the hybrid design motivated by the trade-off between area throughput and randomness qualities. It includes both pseudo and true random components. A and F class instructions are supported by separate modules. B and C instructions are executed in an area optimized module, which leverage interaction in and functionality reuse between operations. Especially, we carefully mitigate glitch related leakages in the math AAU by adopting the domain-oriented masking based strategies. Domain-oriented masking, DOM, is applied for nonlinear mask operations in the mask ALU. For example, Boolean masked N and Boolean masked fuel multiplier. The figures show the circuits of the mask N and the mask few multiplier. As we can see, the circuits follow two principles. The first is separating the operation on associated shares into their separated domains. The second is inserting the latching and remask steps for cross-domain operations to prevent glitch-related leakage. Moreover, we carefully select suitable DOM independent and DOM dependent variances regarding the dependency between the two input operands. For example, DOM dependent is applied for mask N and DOM independent is for mask field multiplier. In addition, we insert the additional remasking steps where it's necessary or possible. This is a conservative decision with respect to the leakages. Especially, we adopt the use of double bump clocking to mitigate the latency overhead caused by the cross-domain latching. For example, the inputs and outputs flip blocks operate with the different clock edges versus the latching ones. To evaluate the area overhead, we consider two variants compared to the baseline core without IC, namely IC CBA supporting A, B, and C classes and IC CBAF 
supporting A, B, C, and F classes. We synthesize the systems for two implementation targets, FPJ and ASIC. The results are reported in the table. We can see that the area overheads of IC CBAs is fairly modest. We support the F class instructions. This overhead further increases in the IC CBAF. One can view this as a trade off to specifically support uh, AES and AES like ciphers. After the implementation of the mask IC hardware system, we evaluate the IC utilization through IC assisted software for a range of cryptographic kernels. While we implement such IC assisted software, we face some challenges uh, which are fairly like that of masking software using the base ISA only. For example, first, Various design choices regarding function inlining and loop unrolling for, a, for an implementation. Second, register access regarding efficient utilization of a limited number of registers, pair registers, and avoiding leakage from uh, moving shares to and from registers. And thus, the possibilities of accidental and masking caused by speculative execution. However, we found that implementing a mask function using the IC is less effort than using the ISA. And securing such implementation involves a similar process, but using the IC is easier because the program is softer. Generally, the cryptographic kernels are implemented using assembly language, uh, and we address the implementation challenges manually. In addition, for a comprehensive evaluation of the IC utilization for each kernel, we implement at least three variants, namely unmasked for unprotected implementation, ISA mask for masking implementation using only the base ISA and IC mask for masking implementation using the proposed IC. Due to the importance of AES, we particularly focus on it. By design, AES can be implemented on hardware software platforms with different approaches. For the unmasked implementation, we evaluate various implementation approaches namely tact mode, T-table, and IC-supported acceleration. That would provide a more dimensional comparison. We found that not all implementation above are easy to mask. For the ISA mask implementation, we adopt the riven browse scheme. This scheme computes few inversions using squares and multiplications. For the IC mask implementation, we also leverage the Riven Browse scheme. We employ the mask AC to compute the mask operations in the scheme. As expected, the mask IC bring a significant performance boost, as we can see in the table. To demonstrate the generalities of the IC, we also evaluated the utilization of the IC using other cryptographic kernels, namely SM4, SPEC, Spark, and ChaCha20. As can see in the table, the base ISA mask implementations suffer enormous increased overheads. The IC assisted masking, as expected, against more than one order of magnitude overhead reduction in terms of instruction count and cycle count in comparison to the base ISA alternative. Regarding the security of masking, our strategies modeling relies on the DOM approach. For the 
I see implementation in hardware as mentioned above. Then we do empirical validation by evaluating the leakage of large cryptographic kernels of which implementations are constructed by using the glitch resilient IC. In this regard, our FBJ implementation of the mask IC is built on the accessible Z3 side channel analysis platform. And we use TVOA based leakage detection to evaluate the security of the mask cryptographic kernels. For example, the figures show the leakage evaluation for AES kernels. Each evaluation employs a set of 100,000 power consumption traces. The blue plot show the T value of an evaluation and the red lines are the threshold for leakage detection in a TVOA evaluation. As ca we can see, the leakage is clearly observed in the evaluation of the unmasked implementation. By carefully implementing masking, the ISA mask and IC mask implementations uh, can mitigate the leakage below the thresholds. The leakage evaluation of other kernels obtained the same results. In summary, we presented the design implementation and evaluation of an IC to support software-based masking. Our evaluation suggests the IC can support efficient secure first order masked software. For example, IC assisted mask implementation of AES is an order of magnitude more efficiency than the uh, software only alternative. Moreover, our IC allows maintain, maintaining uh, the flexibility of a software to suit several cryptographic algorithms while incurring acceptable inherent area overhead. However, utilizing the IC is not straightforward, which demands care. For example, ensure non interaction between cells, load and store cells, and deal with register pressure. Through the experiences of implementing and applying the mask. I see for a range of cryptographic kernels and the results. We recognize various higher level directions represent either important or interesting future works. For example, it is interesting to look at how an IC assisted approach supports generalized masking schemes like higher order masking and how an IC can be chance to support flexible work sizes like sitting bit and sit for bit. We also recognize that the support of the mask IC allows implementing secure masking software less complicated, which potentially enables an automatic generation of mask implementation. So it is interesting to look at how such masked IC can be integrated into an automatic tool like Tornado. In addition, there are possible extensions to support the long-term importance of post-quantum cryptography. In more general, the IC can, be, can have possible extensions to assist with various challenges for example, secure register access and set aware memory access. So that my presentation, of course, this would have some unclear details in the presentation. I would like to encourage you to read the paper for full technical details. I look forward to answer any question that you may have at the live section or you can drop us an email using the addresses on the first slide. Thank you for your listening.